Good morning. Today is Friday, the 23rd of April, and it's the feast of St. George the Martyr. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of hosts, who so kindled the fire of charity in the heart of St. George your martyr, that he bore witness to the risen Lord, both by his life and by his death, grant us through his intercession, we pray, the same faith and power of love, that we who rejoice in his triumph may be led to share with him in the fullness of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. First reading is from the Apocalypse, chapter 12. I, John, heard a voice shout from heaven, Victory and power and empire for ever have been won by our God and all authority for his Christ, now that the persecutor, who accused our brothers day and night before our God, has been brought down. They have triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the witness of their martyrdom, because even in the face of death they would not cling to life. Let the heavens rejoice, and all who live there. The word of the Lord. The second reading is from Romans. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, by faith we are judged righteous and at peace with God, since it is by faith and through Jesus that we entered the state of grace in which we can boast about looking forward to God's glory. But that is not all we can boast about. We can boast about our sufferings. These sufferings bring, bring patience, as we know, and patience brings perseverance, and perseverance brings hope, and this hope is not deceptive because the love of God has been poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which has been given us. The Word of the Lord. The Gospel is from Gospel of John, chapter 15, part of the great discourse at the Last Supper. John said to his disciples, If the world hates you, remember that it hated me before you. If you belong to the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you do not belong to the world, because my choice withdrew you from the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the words I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you too. If they kept my word, they will keep yours as well. But it will be on my account that they will do all this, because they do not know the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. So in these readings, all special for this day, celebrating the martyrdom of St. George, it's about the choice that St. George made that he would be a Christian in the face of those who threatened him for his life to give up his Christian, Christian faith. He said, no, I choose Jesus and died for it. Historically speaking, that's probably all we know for sure about St. George. That he did exist, that he was a soldier, not quite sure which country he was a soldier for, and that he died a martyr. We don't know the circumstances. We do pretty well know the place. In ancient naming, it's a place called Lydda. And in modern language, it's a place called Lod, L-O-D. And where is Lod? It's the little village where they built the Ben Gurion airport just outside Tel Aviv. And if you look up on a map uh, for the airport, it tells you a place called Lod. So whenever I fly in, and I do, because my son lives in Israel, I fly into the airport, I always say a little prayer to St. George, knowing that's the place of his martyrdom. First reading, we hear in the Apocalypse how the blood of the martyrs and the faith of Jesus and his followers have conquered the power of evil in this world. In the second reading from Romans, we hear about our suffering as we follow Jesus, but that our suffering, taken in the right spirit, helps us to come closer to God because it leads us to hope. And this hope is given into our hearts by the Holy Spirit. 
This passage leads one to understand the relationship between the persons of the Trinity a bit more closely. It's been an origin, an, uh, an original text, an origin of their whole doctrine of the Trinity and the role of the different persons, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Gospel, Jesus says, if we follow him, we must expect the same as what he got. He was persecuted by the world, that's the world in a bad sense, but because he stayed faithful to who he was, to his love of the Father, and we must just stay faithful to him. And like him, we will face persecution, but we will come through it. Interestingly, that world, word world, remember in John has always got two meanings. Earlier on in John, uh, in the passage talking about Nicodemus, we have that famous phrase, God so loved the world, he sent his only son. And in that sense, the world is what caused God to reach out in love. Here, though, the world is used in the sense of that part of the world is around us that's against God and against belief in Jesus. We're caused to make the choice. I feel St. George is a bit of a usurper. St. Edward the Confessor used to be the patron saint of England. But when all the, the myths based on all these stories about uh, St. George being a, dragon, uh, being a dragon slayer, being a knight full of chivalry, saving the girl from a fate worse than death, etc., and eventually being seen as the model for uh, and the patron of England. And still today the same, you know, St. George. Um, but it's all based on creation, uh, creative stories, legends, probably a bit of this is what we would like it, our decide, decision about what true heroism is. The bottom line of St. George is he was a martyr for Christ and that is what we're called to celebrate today. We turn to our bidding prayers. The response is, you redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs who were slain for God's word, let us give glory to our Saviour, the faithful and true witness. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs who bore witness to your love, set us free to live for you. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs who proclaimed your saving death, give us a deep and constant faith. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs who took up your cross, Grant us courage for every trial. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs, washed in the blood of the Lamb, give us grace to conquer our weakness. You redeemed us by your precious blood. And you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Proclaiming your glory, Lord, we humbly ask that as St. George imitated Christ in his passion, so he may be a ready helper in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless. Have a good day.